Yet another player is entering the banking space, uh, joining two other banks that are aiming to be disruptive using technology. A new digital banking offering was launched in one of the richest areas in South Africa, targeted at some of South Africa's poorest people. The offering is set to change not only the way people bank, but the way people participate in the formal economy. The objective of this product is to move individuals and micro merchants from the cash based informal economies to the more formal, reportable, safe, secure banking world and allow them to make domestic payments, cross-border payments, uh, point-of-sale swipes, ATM withdrawals, pay people, receive money and keep their money safe more importantly. Around 68% of payments made in South Africa are made in cash. Visa says out of every 1,000 transactions that take place on the African continent, only three are electronic. A lot of the people that are unbanked, they're working, they're time poor, you know, they don't have the time to go and take off work because they don't get paid. This way, we will come to them, we will come to you, we will register you, we'll digitally FICA you, and when we walk away from you, we will leave you with a working bank account. You can actually go to your employer and say, no longer give me cash, put this money in my bank account. And that is a huge differentiator uh, compared to what is out there today. While the group says their technology is disruptive, there are a slew of new players in the banking sector like Time Digital and Discovery offering a similar promise. The CEO of Sasfin says that's not a bad thing. That so many banks are being disrupted because we have so many unbanked people in our country and banking is not great for the vast majority of South Africans. And the more disruption in the industry, we think better to ultimately improve the lives of consumers and businesses. Our specific approach... The owners of the service believe that in a country like South Africa, rife with inequality, there is both opportunity for profit and to help. We wanted to build an organization that does well whilst it does good. And I don't believe these two are mutually exclusive. So typically you'd imagine a business is focused purely on just generating profit and making money. Uh, and then you have charities and non-profit that are focused on making the world a better place. And I think that's uh, definitely not the case. There's tremendous opportunity to bridge these two worlds. And the magic, like the secret sauce that makes that happen is technology. Zinga Kunta, SABC News, Johannesburg.